At this very moment, in cities across the United States, people are taking action. At City Hall, the Chief Technology Officer is opening up municipal data for developers and residents. Data that will power applications and visualizations that will help everyone navigate the city and participate in its government. At a town hall meeting, a public works program manager is showing civic leaders how to access or create information about the communities they serve. And from the street she's lived on for 35 years, a grandmother takes a picture of graffiti with her cell phone and notifies City Hall that they need to send out a maintenance crew to remove it. What do these three events have in common? They're all examples of how geographic information systems, also called GIS, are rapidly becoming a vital part of how citizens interact with their governments. In its broadest sense, GIS are technological tools used to depict spatial information visually and to conduct location-based analysis. The latest advancements in GIS technology leverage existing web-based map servers as base platforms for Web 2.0 applications, making them easy to use and accessible to a wide range of users. But GIS didn't always work this way. In fact, it was initially comprised of desktop-based applications that produced dynamic maps for sophisticated spatial analysis. These early maps were not accessible to the general public, but out of desktop GIS evolved the second wave, Web GIS. Utilizing the Internet to add more capabilities, Web GIS allowed government executives to enable citizens to create their own maps, view location-based data in real time, and enjoy interactive features such as querying and searching. However, maps could not be edited by the general public, limiting the potential of citizen participation. Now, the third wave of GIS is here, which leverages the two-way dynamic content of Web 2.0. Today's GIS empowers citizen participation in four key areas. Rider-oriented transit information provides real-time data for commuters, whether they travel by car, bus, or train. Constituent relationship management enables government executives and program managers to conduct up-to-the-minute assessment of their performance so that residents enjoy a more responsive government. Resident volunteer geographic information allows residents to generate and share geographical information with government officials and other citizens quickly over the Internet. Lastly, there is joint planning and decision making, which promises greater collaboration between government planners and the communities they serve in shaping the city's growth and prioritizing projects and services. These tremendous advancements in GIS over the years have helped citizens engage with a more transparent, collaborative government. Some governments are looking for new ideas, and citizens across the country are asking their leaders for more access to data and applications to help them get the most out of emerging technologies. What's the next wave of GIS beyond the Geospatial Web 2.0 platform? And what other challenges are there for today's GIS solutions? To learn more, we invite you to read the report, Using Geographic Information Systems to Increase Citizen Engagement, published by the IBM Center for the Business of Government. For more information, please visit the Center's website at businessofgovernment.org.